Alright, so you want to know how to make CSGO skins, but you don't know where to start? I got you covered. In this video, we will be talking about how to get started at making your first CSGO skin. Alright, so before we get started, we want to make sure that we have Blender installed. If you don't have it installed, you want to go to uh, the first link in the description or you can Google for Blender download and it will be the first link that shows up. Once you are on this web page, you will have to click on download Blender and just follow the install process by Windows. Alright, so now that we have Blender installed and set up, we will want to download the materials needed to create our skin. So to do that, we want to Google for CSGO finishes and click on the first link that will show up by the official Counter-Strike website. Once you are on this page, you want to go all the way down until it says resources and downloads. Click on it and click on the downloads right here. Alright, so once you have downloaded the workbench materials, you want to unzip it. Uh, I choose to unzip it here in the downloads folder, but I will move it to my desktop. All right, so now that we have the workbench files installed, we want to open a blender and just click out of this. Once we have this view, we will want to select all of it and hit the delete button, or you can press X twice. So what you want to do next is go to file, import and click on wavefront.obj once you are there you want to go to your folder where you have the workbench materials installed or saved then you want to go into that folder click on obj's and for this tutorial i will be using the mac 10. all right so now that we have our mac 10 imported and is visible in our blender we want to go to the top left and click on image editor. Over here we want to click on new and we want to give it a name whichever is best for us. So in our case I'll just be using this name. We want to set the width and the height to 2048 pixels. Once we have done that hit OK. It should so look something like this. Then so once we have done that we want to go back to the viewport. Select our gun and go over here and click on texture paint once we have done that we want to go to the top left again hit shader editor and over here we want to hit shift a so it brings up this menu and then search for image texture once you've done that place it right where you want then click on the image icon and select the texture we just made once this is done, we want to go back to the Mac 10. So how to do that? We have two ways of doing so. We can just do this and go to 3D viewport, or we can just use the texture paint over here, which is a bit easier. So you have all the Mac 10 uh, models over here with all the different aspects of the gun. All right, so now that we are in the texture paint mode, we can just put some stuff on the gun as we like. In this case, I'm just going to do it very easy just for the tutorial. So we're just going to make this a bit white and we can just add a bit of color like so. It really doesn't matter how you do it or what you do with it. It's totally up to you. All right. So once we are done with painting our gun, we want to head over to the left here and click on image. And over here we can click on save. Save it where you want. Just make sure that the file is saved as a PNG file. I'm going to save it to desktop because it's easier. All right, so now that we have saved our file, we want to download a new program called VTF Edit. So just search for that and you will find something along the lines of this GitHub page. Once you're on this page, you want to click on the installer. Once you have clicked on the installer, a file will pop up on the bottom left here. You want to open it click yes and just follow it all the way through because I have it installed I'm not gonna do that process again all right so now that we have VTF edit installed we want to open it and go over to the top left and hit import over here we want to go to the place where we saved our file in my case this will be the desktop we want to click on it click open over here there are a lot of settings but you don't need to change any of these so just hit OK now it might take a little bit 
to edit the file and change it to a VTF file, but it shouldn't be taking that long. Once you have something looking like this, you want to go to the top left here to the save icon, click on it and just save the file and name it whatever you want. In my case, I'll just name it Mac 10 just for ease. Hit save, then you can exit out of VTF edit. All right, so now that we have the VTF file, all we have to do is open CSGO and go into the workbench. All right, so before we get started, make sure you have the console enabled. So to see this, you go to settings menu. You go to the game settings and over here you will find enable developer console. Make sure this is set to yes. So once we have set it to yes, all we have to do is open the console, hit workshop underscore workbench, launch it, and then we should have something like this. Then once we are here, we want to go to the top left, hit non, go to custom paint job, choose pattern then we want to go to the place where we saved our then we want to go to the place where we saved our VTF file in my case this is the desktop we want to hit open now it should look something like this but don't worry it will look better so what we now have to do is over at ignore weapon size scale we want to check that so we want to enable it then we need to set all of the offset values to zero like so including the pattern rotate end to zero. Now, once we have done this, we want to make sure that we have the right gun selected. In my case, it was the Mac 10, so I will be selecting the Mac 10. And now you can see that our skin is all in the workbench. So over here, you can just have a good look at everything about the skin. So you can inspect, you can reload the gun, you can go over here and you have a little preview of the gun. You also have the side view. All right, so now that we have our gun in the workbench, we want to submit it to the workshop. So to do that, we want to go to the bottom right and select a name for this file. It doesn't matter how you call it or what you call it. I'll just call it this. And then we want to go all the way to the right here, click on submit. And then over here, we have the option to set a preview image we can choose the title and description we also need to place in here all of our source files that we have used and if you want to upload it to the dreams and nightmare contest be sure that this box is checked otherwise it won't count towards that contest all right so that was it for making your first csgo skin and uploading the item to the workshop if you have any questions please just let me know in the comments and i will get to them as soon as possible see you later guys adios